Wilmer Barrios, the Colombian international. It was a major reshuffle, an operation on the open heart two-thirds. It is Zenit's title challenge. During the long winter break, Zenit sold Leonardo Paredes to Paris Saint-Germain and replaced him with the Colombian midfielder Wilmer Barrios from Boca Juniors. Financially, the deal made sense. Leonardo Paredes, after all, was sold for 40 million euros to Paris Saint-Germain. Meanwhile, his replacement, Wilmer Barrios, cost just 50 million euros. But this was not a move without risk. Ordo Paredes has not always been at his best in the midfield. He went on with his game, was one of the best playmakers in Russian football. Wilmer Barrios, in the meantime, is less velvety in his approach. Like in a poker game online, Zenit, however, took the gamble to adjust. After all, three defeats in the last four games before the winter break meant that the gap to the second place had melted away. With the departure of Paredes, we decided to find a player who can find the balance between defence and attack, Zenit head coach Sergei Semak said to Sports RU in April. Even though this aspect is often contributed to Ratiskai and in Wilma Barrios had one important effect, Zenit were now more stable in defence, whereas Paredes had just 7.56 successful defensive actions last season, which ranked 7th in Zenit's squad. Wilma Barrios ranked 3rd with 9.35 defensive actions. Furthermore, of all regular squad players, only Magomed Ozdoez 9.33 than the 25-year-old Colombian midfielder. But Wilmer Barrios is not just a destructive force. The Colombian can also control the play in the midfield. And although he ranked behind Paredes with 90.58%, when taking into account his time at Boca Juniors. But since joining Zenit, he completed 91.65%. Of his passes, which ranked him 8th overall in the Russian Premier League this season. I wonder how Barrios would fit into Arsenal's setup. His stat speaks for itself. Arsenal have been tracking Thomas Party for a while now, and it seems like things have kind of gone awry. Could Barrios be the perfect replacement? Could he be the perfect target? Maybe a lot cheaper for Arsenal. In May 2020, Barrios spoke about his failed move to Everton. Yes, Everton wanted to sign a young Colombian midfielder last year. As reported by Caracol, Everton had been in talks with Boca Juniors regarding their deal and were set to pay a fee of around £21 million to bring him to Goodison Park. Guys, again, what are your thoughts? Could Wilmer one day play for Arsenal? Should Arsenal target him this season? Furthermore, the Toffees convinced Gaia to remain until the end of the season, and Barrios did not want to hang around in Argentina. He joined Zenit St. Petersburg instead, and has explained the decision to ESPN as relayed by Antena Dos. Of course, Everton might now be wishing they had brought in Barrios anyway. He has proved the success in Russia, whilst the player the Toffees eventually did bring in to replace Gaia, Jean Philippe Gabin has failed to make an impact since his move from Mainz because of a season-long period of injury troubled. It seems South America is a place where real gems can be brought. Everton fans and those at the club will no doubt be hoping that the Ivory Coast international can live up to his task of replacing Gaia, who has now been a massive loss since his move to the French capital in summer. If not, then perhaps Barrios is a name the club might have to reconsider once again. Furthermore, why not at Arsenal? This has been Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world.